Grace Kitchens is pleased to present Creative Cooking. Tasty, nutritious meal ideas for homemakers and their families. And now, here is today's host. Hi, welcome to Creative Cooking. As we celebrate our independence, we pay homage to foods that have been around from the days of the Arawak Indians and early Africans. Today's show features cassava and coconut in a bake. We are making a sweet dish. Please see the recipe on the screen and then join me as I show you how this dish is made. Remember I'm making coconut and cassava bake, a sweet dish. I am using two cups of cassava flour. Then I'm adding some sugar and the sugar here will act as a sweetener. To this, we add cinnamon powder and nutmeg. We mix well and we set this aside. In this bowl, I'll pour in four cups of coconut milk. I'll add two eggs and a pinch of vanilla. And we whisk these together. The coconut milk contributes a lovely flavor. It is lubricant in this bake. The eggs will help to enrich the dish and they also act as binding agent. And the vanilla contributes to the flavor. We now make a well in the center and we pour in the coconut milk mixture. And we mix. Four cups of coconut milk, two cups of cassava flour. And we just want to remind you that Radha sells cassava flour. To this mixture, I am adding some finely chopped jelly coconut, and you, you heard right, jelly coconut, yes. I'm adding some to the mixture. Here we have a greased baking tin and we will pour the batter in. And we will put this to bake in a preheated oven. 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 180 degrees Celsius. And this will bake in about 40 minutes. Now here in my saucepan, I'll add one cup of grazed coconut milk. And we'll add some sweetened condensed milk about a half cup. And we can always reduce, you know, to suit our taste. Maybe if you want to use a quarter cup, feel free to go along with that. And you cook stirring constantly. As soon as this begins to boil, we'll add a thickener. We are using cornstarch. And we pour it in. And again, we have to stir this to prevent lumps from forming. Now, I know this, this tastes very good, you know, and I believe that you or your family will really enjoy it. 
This is becoming very smooth. Mm. See, it's so starting to thicken. And this will soon come to the boil. Now we will remove this from the flame and we'll add a little strong to it. We'll add about two tablespoons of white rum. Then we need to drizzle this on. I'm just using red here, but if you have you know, green cherries, you may use those. Or you could maybe make your own candied fruits at home. Here you have it, coconut and cassava bake. It's smooth, it's manageable. I can tell you it is a delicious treat. And just one of the many dishes, so quick and easy to make at home, that family members will be happy to try as soon as you request the recipe. Here's the recipe again. And then please join me in the mailbox as I remind you about some of the products that may be made from cassava. Hello there, welcome back. In the mailbox, we share with you a range of the products that may be made from cassava. I want to begin here, and we have cassava starch. I remember my own grandmother made cassava starch. Um, it was greater than the juice extracted. Um, that was discarded, and the, the starch was put to dry. It was sun-dried, and, and, and the cassava starch was always used um, to, to starch clothing, whether it be um, the jeans or the khaki pants. Cassava starch was used. Here we have cassava flour. And over here we have the gari. I like it served in a, in a turn corn meal. It may be served as a sweet dish or it may be savory. Over here we have some cassava chips. Yes, you heard right. And here we have bamis, and they vary in size. Here we have a cassava bread. And it may be you, the cassava bread may be used in just the very same way as we serve roti. Here we have the cassava pancake mix. And you and I know that pancakes are usually served with a syrup. Here, Radha has prepared three syrups that we'd like to share with you. Here we have Otoyiti apple syrup. Here we have a guava syrup. And here we have a mango syrup. Served with pancakes, mm, your family will really enjoy them. And that's our show for today. Remember, we welcome your questions or any recipes you may have to share. Call, write, or email us at Grace Kitchens anytime. Until next time, we thank you for watching. Creative Cooking, broadcast on CVM TV every Tuesday and Friday at 7.50 p.m. Join us next time for Creative Cooking, brought to you by Grace Kitchens, helping Jamaican homemakers prepare tastier meals for themselves and their families.